Welcome back to another basics, must known basics tutorial for Game Maker Studio. And this is a pretty significant one, so please don't skip here. And this is about special characters and the font editor and things you must know to well, utilize fonts correctly in Game Maker Studio. And then I just give you a few insights how that actually works. So here, uh, tons of stuff in a hopefully very short video tutorial. So stay tuned. This is one up Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider subscribing, sharing and liking, of course. Alrighty, so what do I mean by all that? So let's say you want to display some text and then here you have some text. Yay, mission accomplished. Not so fast because let's say you have special characters in different kind of languages. For example, the German, uh, uh, or the accent circumflex or du goût. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure with which one it is. It is like, I don't know, a lot of years ago, which I spoke some French. So forgive me for that. And then the Turkish <laughs> or whatever this is called. Not sure because I don't speak any Turkish, by the way. And then, for example, the Polish w. Or, for example, if you want to go Cyrillic, then Ruski. Uh, Ruski, I guess this is how you spell it. That, that just means Russian. And then, well, here we go, some Arabic stuff. No idea. It just says Ar Ar Arabic, Arabian, something, something, something. Not sure. Correct me in the comments if you like, because I really don't know. Alrighty, so, so to, to display this kind of stuff, you need to know a few things. So let's jump right into Game Maker Studio. So what you do normally, you would be having an object. You just place it into the room. I just call it object draw. Let's get rid of the thing. Normally what you would be doing, you could say like, hey, let's uh, have a variable. Now let's get rid of all that stuff. And you just have text. Let's copy paste that and get rid of the old one and then we just say hey some text and this would be of no issue to you so here we go some text then we can go go here and then i don't know minus plus we can go funky or this kind of stuff hopefully that will display it correctly so here we go let's check it out if it does work and it almost does work the sharpest s this is the old German thingy here. This is for S. It's not displayed correctly, but as you can see, everything else seems to be in order, which is okay. But let's say you want to do something like this. So we just go in here and then, for example, we say, like, okay, we display a little bit more funky stuff. So basically <laughs> all these things. And now hopefully you understand what's going on now. And here we are getting hit with what the hell is happening nothing is being displayed this is not good all right so what we can do is actually do one thing we just create a font so we just say font so this is create and then we select our asset and then well we got the font editor and here i don't know let's go with the first one call it uh, font a b c or use whatever you can call it whatever you like and to use this font, we need to go and say like, hey, draw, but draw set and then font and boom, input this one, which we just created. And let's check it out now. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> it's not working. You're thinking, eh, what's actually happening? So what's the issue here? Well, these are special characters and they cannot display it because they are not in range of what we can display so here very very important thing to understand at the very beginning so here these ones are out of range but what that that actually mean if you're just thinking how did you do the line break manually slash n is a manual line break this will be overwritten then we can have a manual line break if you like this is just a little bit besides so here let's go into our font editor and there are tons of things you can adjust even here these things and you're like, you're like whoa 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 a lot of things which i don't need to know well uh, yes you need to know if you for example want to be successful in this kind of stuff because this is very important if you later on want to well, have special characters multi-language and all that uh, jabez so basically here you need to uh, get in touch with that kind of stuff. So the first stuff, well, you just call it whatever you like, give it a name. This is obvious. Then you have a drop down of all the fonts which you're having on your system installed. So this is 
Game Maker St Stu Studios basically like uh, <laughs> getting all the installed fonts from your well operating system, which is I don't know Windows or Linux or Mac or whatever you are having. Boom, and then you can group it. We're gonna skip on this one because this is not important for us now. And then you have the next thing copy to project what is that well one thing which is game maker studio is doing it is actually if you're having a font here set up it is copying that font into glyph into uh, your texture page so where can you get your texture page well for example for windows it would be uh, no somewhere here game options windows and then for the other ones well mac os or ubuntu then graphics and then you can well, create your texture page and I already did this in advance this is how the texture page looks like it's a little bit ugly hopefully hopefully you can actually see what this is and here we have our glyph so not too, <laughs> not too good to see but basically just imagine uh, the white is gone and then you're having your font everywhere here of course here hmm, a little bit difficult to see because well it is uh, widening the stuff out but here you can imagine here's where all the font is being well uh, being uh, converted into like sprite sprites on your texture page so this is texture page number one with a huge <laughs> sphere and then some other stuff and as you can see boom boom everything in there so how does the folder look like so here we go basically here this is my texture page one texture page two i guess the second one this is how that looks like with all that stuff crammed into two texture pages so you can understand how that works in context so let's get rid of it get rid of that and for example if you do this thing you need to understand what game maker studio is doing so before that if you were creating a font here game maker studio would say like sweet we are using this font or that font alrighty we just copy it to the texture page if you do this you copy the exact font over into the project then for example you copy it over but then you need to have the license for that for example i don't know if you just can say like sweet i just copy over ariel and it's free to use no no no, no, no. there are some restrictions in this one therefore a game maker studio is making it a little bit easier for you concerning the, uh, the licensing that it's just copying the stuff over and then boom it is on your texture page and then it's being displayed as graphics in the end because th this is what it is hopefully you know understand what that means so normally don't click it but of course if you have your own font or you have the rights for that hey you can do that also so here we uh, well, got all that stuff already here and then we go into some more interesting stuff because here you have sample and actually you can write whatever you like and sometimes here we go oh let's go with the accent something something does it work yes it does work and then um you can write some example text how that would look like so for example as you can see boom we're making it bigger making it smaller and boom here we can check it out how it looks like in this specific font of course you can kill it if you don't like it and then game preview this is what's being stored in the texture page as it is so for example this is all the stuff it's what is being stored on the texture page as glyph so therefore game preview so here I don't know, blah, blah 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 yeah the, this tooltip is not helpful at all so here we go <laughs> but now you understand hey this is what's being then stored on the texture page this is kind of important later on for regenerate because there are tons of options in there most of them you won't be using so now let's come back to the part with the range which i said like hey our range isn't good enough so here we have our range being displayed so here a b c d blah 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 but there are no special characters like a or accent a so uh, i guess it's uh <laughs> so don't put more that my french is very rusty so here this is the range of what's being shown so 32 to 127 is all the standard stuff so numbers some extra characters and of course boom big uh, letters and small letters and then then we are pretty much finished but we can actually have more so we just go under add new range and then we can actually say like ascii and uh-huh what is that let's make this a little bit bigger 
and here we have more well 32 to 255 and as you can see ooh, we got more stuff and then it is covering a lot of course it's not covering the chinese language the Cyrillic, indian chinese whatever japanese but it's covering now a lot of latin and then latin specific characters as you can see boom they are all or most of them are included which is pretty good so let's say add this to range and then what we will see aha uh -huh, here the range has been increased so you can just check it out ooh, 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 ooh. yeah more stuff so let's run it now okay so we fixed most of the stuff so the a e, or uh, <laughs> in french is and even the turkish uh, whatever that was once again is being displayed correctly but say the w the polish w isn't working and well the russian isn't working and the arabic isn't working either so how can we fix this if you like so of course don't do this for all this stuff if you don't need it because you are well uh, well bombarding and making tons of stuff in your vram so basically you are clogging the memory more up with more stuff if you for example don't need the russian language don't add it so for example what i'm going to be doing here is uh, saying like hey add once again then we can actually manually add some stuff boom or the russian well alphabet in there and then just add to range Alrighty, and then as you can see this is getting bigger now so here we have reserved the space for the russian language and then i'm gonna do this for the little word because i don't have the whole um, arabic a little bit difficult to yeah here we go and then add the range for the arabic one so here we go add to range and boom now it, this stuff is being reserved with all the letters and now all the stuff is actually being displayed correctly so if you wanted just to fix the issue with special characters boom here we go of course the w isn't working and of course this is a, a specific polish one i guess we are the only ones which are using this kind of stuff so let's go <laughs> add and you can manually add the w in there also and boom then now let's check it out and here we go now it's in there sweet so basically this is the special characters and now you understand how that works in context so here cool stuff but of course if you go add range there are more things i like guess letters digits or something like this or you can manually or you can actually go from a file and so from or from code so here once again you can uh, refine that i never use it because i don't really need so here um not sure what to do do with this so let's say make this thing a little bit bigger of course this is not the optimal way how to make that so basically you can just uh, skip it and i don't know leave it at 16 15 or whatever at the very beginning but for example here if you are a little bit lazy you can make make it bigger and of course this will be displayed bigger also in game and of course here anti-aliasing so anti-aliasing is just basic basically here this is very very uh sharp concerning how it's being displayed but if, for example if you turn it on then you have anti-lazing so basically sometimes there will be some inter pixels to make it a little bit more nicer to read of course if you want to go for the pixel art look then you disable that and here style regular now we have more aerial 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 baltic Let's see yeah so here there are even more styles if you like so here it will be fixed on one specific style then you even have more options and then this all that stuff is basically how the glyphs are being displayed and then you have different kind of modalities so let's go into ba -ba -ba -ba, preview not preview preview mode texture control so this is how it will be displayed in the texture page and then you have tons of options i will leave it at that because most of the time you won't be using it anyway and here we come to the last part so uh, if you don't know for example what the texture pages all that stuff hey link in the description below the last thing is regenerate so for example if you change the texture page manually and here you want to display how it looks like then you can press regenerate then your changes will be applied to uh, how the glyphs are how they are looking if not 
this stuff won't be taking over so this is kind of only important if you for example if you create if you uh, have your own font and you changed it and then you want to update it and then you press regenerate this is a very niche thing most of the time you won't be using it anyway so here let's uh, get rid of that stuff so let's go for the last part and this is just for displaying so let's say we got our issues with our special characters solved which is pretty good then what we can actually do is besides draw set font we can just do a few things we can uh, set the h line and the v line and this is pretty basic stuff so yeah if i can get it correctly so draw set and then v line h line and this is basically how the text is being displayed from the point where you are drawing it so what is that well let's go into actually the manual where it is actually kind of helpful so what is that h line so this is the horizontal line so for example here you have a center point if you want to go left it's being displayed from the left if you want to go at center then it will be centered around the origin point x the x y and then right and then the same stuff for the uh, the v line so on the vertical line and then if you want to from the starting point where it is being drawn so what did i do here kind of easy stuff so in the center and then in the middle so for example now we start again so as you can see now this is pretty sweet so here i, I this is i guess where the the object was placed and then the x y position and then boom uh, it is there so what you can do just say like mm, but i want to let's say go from left and here from i don't know fh give me something left top let's go for top here we go and now you will see that it's being displaced somewhere so here i guess this is the origin point and this is how you can format the text a little bit of course this is not the best way to do of course you can this is of course mandatory a lot of times but you can actually do a few more things but this is just optional so if you like so you can just go and say like hey draw set color and then for example what's happening well you draw it in a different color yeah yeah so <laughs> if you want to know this cool and what else you can do well you can just go with different draw set and then now draw text here we go and then you've got different kind of options so how you want to display it for example if you want to have line breaks and different colors and yada yada i'm not going to go over this because i did this in other video tutorials and therefore i wanted just to go give you a quick little fix to the special characters and a little bit of formatting and this is pretty much it so this is one of the issues which i was having and the last thing um, the next video will be about how you can actually set up your uh, multi-language uh, localization handling of uh, multiple languages in your video game and then uh, a lot of people just do it with json files or with csvs or whatever therefore we can use that to have multiple languages inside our game so this is one of the solutions here this is just for fixing one issue with that Alrighty, hopefully that was of interest to you guys see you next time have a good one one up indie